Hello, I'm Sylvia Marek. I'm a vascular surgeon at the Gutter Clinic in Pennsylvania. My topic for my uh, microlearning today is um, defining high risk patients for uh, TCAR procedure, how to avoid uh, complications. I do not have disclosures, any disclosure for this um, topic. My objective for uh, my microlearning presentation today is to discuss the role of um, transcranial artery revascularization with angioplasty and stenting with reversal of flow, TCAR procedure in management of patients with carotid disease, and identify the high risk patients for uh, TCAR procedures. Carotid artery disease is still an important uh, etiology of um, stroke in the United States. Um, and the uh, treatment of carotid disease has been established for many decades with medical management, with antiplatelet agents and statin therapy, as well as carotid artery and arteriectomy, which is the gold standard for carotid uh, revascularization with excellent results over the years. Two additional modalities uh, of uh, less invasive of carotid uh, uh, revascularization have emerged uh, with transfemoral carotid artery stenting with distal protection and with uh, transcarotid artery vascularization with angioplasty and stenting using reversal of the flow, which is the topic of my uh, presentation today. The TCAR procedures uh, involves a uh, low uh, neck incision just above the clavicle, either transverse or longitudinal, with direct exposure and access of the common carotid artery, in this way avoiding the aortic arch. Uh, it does involve a reversal of the flow with proximal pumping of the common carotid artery for the crossing of the lesion, balloon angioplasty, stenting, and post dilation if required, which has a significant lower risk of distal embolization than transfemoral carotid artery stenting. In this way, we can reach lesions higher up in the neck or avoid reoperations for recurrent stenosis after carotid and arterectomy. And this is a depiction of the entire system in place with the access point in the common carotid artery, uh, the reversal of flow system with a filter uh, in the middle and uh, femoral venous access uh, sheet uh, in place. The results have been uh, uh, excellent in the uh, pivotal trials, which compare favorable with the uh, coronary and arterectomy results in the uh, CREST trial and, and significant better preoperative uh, stroke rate than the transfemoral coronary artery stenting also in the uh, CREST trial. And initially the TCAR procedures have been um, used for uh, high risk uh, patient population for carotid and diarectomy, uh, either high risk anatomically or high risk physiologically. Uh, however, uh, in the last few years has been a trend towards offering the um, TCAR procedure to standard risk patients and therefore, I believe, establishing uh, who, which patients are uh, at risk or high risk for TCAR procedure, it's important to decrease the risk of uh, complications. Um, the TCAR patients are required to be on dual antiplatelet therapy and statin therapy for at least one week prior to the procedure and at least 30 days post-procedure to prevent thrombotic complications. Um, therefore, a, a high-risk patient group can emerge with either non-compliance with treatment, uh, clopidogrel non-responders, um, and therefore, considerations for uh, plus reactivity testing uh, should be given uh, to decrease the risk of thrombotic complication, particularly that there are commercially available Plavix PRU tests um, um, nationally. The anatomical legibility are also important for TCAR procedures. Uh, you, you should have, there should be enough distance from the access point to the bifurcation to ensure uh, safe placement of the access sheet without advancing the guide wire through the 
lesion and this distance uh, it's uh, greater than five centimeters for a safe uh, TCAR. As depicted in this um, CT underground picture, this is a patient of mine who had a uh, very short distance and therefore was uh, treated successfully with chlorine However, some of the uh, patients with um, borderline length identified on a CT angiogram may still be appropriate for a TCAR procedure with the neck extended, especially given the fact that the CT images are obtained uh, without uh, neck extension. Uh, this is a patient of mine with a four centimeter length identified on a CT angiogram. And when I did a preoperative uh, uh, duplex with the neck extended, um, the, the length was actually greater than five centimeters. So therefore, the, I was able to um, proceed with safely with the TCAR procedure. The presence of extensive common coronary disease uh, leads to um, increased risk of uh, embolization at the access time before establishing the protective flow reversal, and therefore, um, it's um, high risk for coronary for TCAR procedure, and therefore, it should be uh, avoided. Calcified uh, lesions pose a challenge to um, uh, carotid uh, stenting due to concerns for inadequate um, stent expansion and the fact that they require more um, aggressive high pressure predilation with higher risk of bradycardia. Therefore, most fully circumferential calcified lesions would be high risk for carotid stenting and therefore should be avoided for uh, TCAR procedures. Uh, however, this uh, can be nuanced. Um, to the left, it's a circumferential calcified exophytic lesion protruding into the lumen of the uh, carotid artery that is not appropriate for a TCAR procedure, while on the right, the, this is a non-circumferential pattern of calcification, which uh, can be treated successfully with a, a TCAR uh, procedure. The width of calcification, calcified plaque or the length of the calcified segment also play a role um, in um, success of uh, TCAR procedure. Calcification that are greater than three millimeters thick as they are uh, depicted in the CT angiogram image or calcified lesions um, that are greater than three centimeter long uh, are gonna be high risk uh, for um, TCAR procedure and therefore should be avoided. The intraluminal filling defects or presence of thrombus been an exclusion for uh, all carotid artery stenting trials as well as TCAR trials. Therefore, uh, identifying the thrombus uh, on a CT angiogram is critical in order to avoid uh, thrombotic complications. Uh, this is what's uh, described as the polo mint sign, which is essentially uh, uh, contrast flowing around the edges of the lumen with the thrombus occupying the center of the lumen. This can be also identified um, on uh, sagittal views of a CT angiogram. Again, those patients should be uh, identified and avoid, uh, uh, and those patients uh, should be treated with um, carotid and direct rather than TCAR procedure to avoid thrombotic uh, complications. In conclusion, the TCAR procedure is a safe and effective method to treat symptomatic and asymptomatic patients with high-grade stenosis who are at high risk for carotid direct-tomy. A group of high-risk patients for TCAR procedures um, uh, can be identified with either non-compliance with treatment, clopidogrel non-responders, short working distance, extensive common carotid artery disease, specific types of calcified lesions, as well as intraluminal uh, uh, thrombos. Thank you.